This is the hardest I've ever worked for a waffle in my entire life. in Teton Village this morning. I feel like it's between Jackson Hole and Grand Teton. And we are doing a little hike on the Wildflower Trail. We're gonna hike up about four miles. There's a restaurant up there where apparently we can get waffles. And then you take the gondola down. a mile in definitely steep it reminds me a little bit of the Mount Snow hike we did which we'll link above in our first trip in Vermont this is about a four mile one way and about a 3,000 foot elevation gain we packed we're carrying way too much equipment we're training to do Mount St. Helens later on this year so we're preparing ourselves but a lot of people are just wearing a, a small backpack so this is called the wildflower trail and we can see some little remnants of them they're really pretty white yellow, purple. Um, I imagine that in the spring and summer it would be a lot more floral and just vibrant for colors. One thing that is different about this trail that's nice about this trail, it's different than Mount Snow, is there are plenty of places to take a seat in the shade. So we're about a mile and a quarter in, we've already passed probably three or four benches in the shade to kind of catch your breath. over as you're walking all the flowers we're seeing are beautiful hey, hi puppy and, as and dogs tell, the dog friendly trail wildflower trail is super scenic every time you turn around every switch back you take you have an awesome view it's fun just to watch the gondola go over you the wildflowers are still in abundance as you get a little bit higher up we're seeing lots of people going up not too many coming down i think they're all taking the gondola down and most importantly the shade yeah Wildflower Trail. So it's about four miles up. We are paused. We thought there was any waffles up here, and there is not. But there's pizza, so we will take it. So the waffles are not here. The waffles are way up there. So we, after the Wildflower Trail, there's this little hangout right here. There's a gondola right down here. There's a trail called the Cirque Trail, a 1.8 mile trail we're on now, which takes you up to the waffles and the top of the mountain. So making our way there now, we're about 0.10 of a mile through, so ways to go. This is the hardest I've ever worked for a waffle in my entire life. We're about a quarter mile up. We're taking our time. We actually already passed one person that was getting altitude sickness, so we're gonna take it slow and steady. Um, you can tell behind me that they're not crystal clear views because actually we were told that some of the wildfire smoke 
out as far as California um, is, that, is blowing right through here. So you can kind of tell it's a little foggy. We thought it was fog this morning, it was gonna burn over, but it's actually almost two o'clock now, it's still sticking around, so could be some wildfire smoke. Bring your chapstick on this trail. We've made it to our destination. We're at the top of the mountain, about to inhale these waffles, take the tram down, and then off to the farmer's market. The farmer's market. We call it the people's market. Dinner time. You could definitely take the gondola up to the first stop that we had, and then walk the 1.8 miles to get a waffle, and then take the tram down. You could, of course, take the tram all the way to the top, get your waffle, and then take the 1.8 mile walk down to the gondola and then take the gondola down. So whether you want to walk the whole thing, you want to break it up between gondolas or trams, um, if you want pizza, you want waffles, you can do it all. The uh, nice thing about this trail is that the entire time you're on it, there's awesome views everywhere you look. The last 1.8 on the surf trail was definitely more scenic, a little bit more in the sun. We got lucky, it's a little cloudy, a little windy, we had a little bit of rain, so it wasn't overly hot, but you are pretty much in the sun for that last 1.82 miles, so just be prepared for that. I say if you're crunch for time and you had to choose, I would say do the gondola up to the Cirque Trail and then hike the Cirque Trail or just take the tram up and then hike down to the gondola. The Cirque Trail I think is definitely more scenic than the Wildflower Trail. So now we're going to take the tram down, all the way down, and then we're going to jump the van, we've got to go find a pump out of the campground close by, and then we're going to hit the People's Market, which I heard is very similar to a farmer's market near the Center of Arts. We found out about this through Stillworks, which is where we stayed for Harvest Host the other night. We're actually going to get to stay there again tonight. We're going to see them at the People's Market, and then after the People Mar People's Market, we will hit the rodeo. We are ending our day at Jackson Hole Stillworks. They make their own slushies, which is super awesome. We got um, blueberry cobbler, and you got, I got the South Side, which is a little bit of mint, gin, and goodness in here. It's good, nice and refreshing on this hot day. Good way to wind down. Taking it easy tonight. Tomorrow we are going to hike to Delta Lake and Amphitheater something, and it's going to be awesome. In the morning we're going to go to the TA Molten Barn.